So you want to lose weight. Whether you're at the start of your journey and have 40 kilos to go, or it's that last three to five that just won't budge. These tips can help you get an edge and support your body in its quest to reach an optimal body weight. In his new book, Plant-Based Medical Marvel, Dr. Michael Greger shows us all how. But at 608 pages, it makes for a long read. That's why this video will narrow it down for you. Here's what you can do to ignite weight loss and burn fat faster, all according to science. These are Dr. Greger's top 10 weight loss tips. One, be water rich. Good hydration includes drinking a lot of water and eating water rich fruits and vegetables. Here's an example of why. A Harvard cohort followed 100,000 doctors and nurses for decades and concluded that increasing water intake was independently and significantly associated with less weight gain over the long term. Also, make sure to preload water, aka have two cups before meals for a metabolism boost. Research found that overweight and obese people randomized to two cups of water before each meal lost nearly five pounds more body fat in 12 weeks. They followed the same calorie controlled diet, but the preload group lost weight 44% faster. Two, preload with negative calories. Starting your meal with some high nutrient, low calorie foods, such as an apple salad or soup can work wonders. Here's a research example. With no starter, people ate around 900 calories, but when they had two cups of vegetable soup as a starter, around 150 calories, they ate 250 less calories. In other words, a healthy starter led to minus 100 calories. Three, eat undistracted meals. When we're distracted, we tend to eat faster and for longer. A study showed that people who ate whilst watching TV averaged an extra slice of pizza or 71% more mac and cheese, totaling 300 more calories. And it doesn't stop there. Even the sound of something can have an impact. Study subjects told to eat while listening to the radio ended up eating 77% more ice cream. When we don't pay full attention to the act of eating, we can also end up eating more later. Take this. Have people play computer solitaire whilst eating a fixed calorie meal and they eat nearly twice as many cookies a half hour later. As if they haven't really registered how much they ate. Focused attention during a meal decreased later food intake. Thus, it's important to embrace mindful eating, slowing down the pace, savoring every bite, and getting in tune with your body's fullness cues. Four, get your daily doses. Certain foods fuel weight loss. Check them off every day. Adding just two teaspoons of vinegar to a high glycemic meal, such as a bagel and juice, reduces the blood sugar spike by 23%. What's more, splitting people in high, low, or no doses of apple cider vinegar showed significant weight loss for the vinegar groups after one month. Three months later, and the low dose group steadily lost about a pound a month, and the high dose group were on five. They also lost about an inch off their waistlines, suggesting they were burning abdominal fat. Daily intake of nigella seeds, otherwise called black cumin, helps improve cholesterol, triglycerides, blood pressure, and blood sugar control. Women taking a quarter teaspoon daily reduced their bad LDL cholesterol by 27% within two months. That's the kind of result you'd expect with a statin drug. Furthermore, controlled weight loss trials found that this dose reduces BMI within a couple months. Giving a quarter teaspoon garlic powder to 100 overweight people helped them lose nearly six pounds of straight body fat over the next 15 weeks. One teaspoon ground ginger has been shown to increase the rate at which our bodies burn fat by about 10% two hours after consumption. Note, it seems dry ginger is much better than fresh since it seems to activate more brown fat. Half a teaspoon cayenne pepper has been shown to counteract our body's attempt to slow down our metabolism when in caloric deficit. Split people into groups, those who have cayenne or not, and scientists found that the cayenne group woke up to 19 grams less body fat compared to 14 for placebo. This really adds up. Adding red pepper powder to a meal can also bump up the rate at which you burn calories immediately after by more like 30%. Two teaspoons of nutritional yeast loaded with beta-glucans can result in about an inch off the waist within six weeks or up to a five pound weight benefit compared to controls in 12 weeks, along with an improvement in blood pressure. 
you gotta love it. Green tea can boost metabolism without raising your heart rate. Three to six cups worth of daily green tea showed an average metabolic boost of about 100 calories a day. That's like taking off three butter pats worth of extra fat every day. Five, deflower your diet. Turn whole wheat into white flour and you lose 75% of the fiber. Something that makes a dramatic difference, robbing our microbiome. Powdering grains makes them much more rapidly absorbed. This affects our appetites, metabolic rates, and how much fat we burn. Meanwhile, lower glycemic foods can help us burn more fat. Six, embrace eating windows. Time restrict eating by having your meals within a window under 12 hours. For instance, when overweight people switched their window from 14 to 10 to 12 hour windows, they lost seven pounds within six weeks. They also slept better and had more energy. Eight months later, they'd also maintained their weight loss. Eating windows seem to unintentionally help us eat hundreds of fewer calories a day. Seven, optimize exercise timing. The optimal amount of exercise to lose weight is 90 minutes of moderate exercise. And doing so in a fasted state can give you an added boost, at least six hours after your last meal. More than a dozen experiments published on this found more fat was burned on an empty stomach. On average, a session of low to moderate exercise before a meal burned off three more grams of fat than the same amount of exercise after a meal. Equal amount of exercise, but more fat loss just because of timing. Eight, weigh yourself every day. This is considered crucial for weight control. Researchers report that self-weighing is linked with less depression, less disordered eating, and less body dissatisfaction. Likely, this is because it improves the success rate of our weight loss efforts. Nine, don't eat at night. Because of our circadian rhythms, food eaten at night is more fattening than the exact same food eaten early in the day. So make sure to fast every night for at least 12 hours. Ideally, don't eat after 7 p.m. Research has found that a meal eaten at 8 p.m. can cause twice the blood sugar response as an identical meal eaten at 8 a.m. As if we had eaten twice as much. Our bodies just aren't expecting food when it's dark outside. So the fewer the calories after sundown, the better. 10. Get sufficient sleep, meaning at least 7 hours. Sleep can really supercharge your weight loss and lack of it can really hinder it. Research shows that short sleep duration has been associated with obesity in both children and adults. When people sleep a couple less hours, they end up eating an average of 677 more calories a day. Take this. Researchers had overweight people eat the same amount of calories, but sleep either 8.5 or 5 hours. After two weeks, they switched. Just looking at the scale, it didn't show much. They lost the same amount of weight. But look more closely and the group getting eight hours lost fat, whilst the others lost lean body mass. To put it bluntly, with the same diet but more sleep, they ended up losing more than twice as much body fat. To add even more incentive to prioritize sleep, researchers have found that those who factor in sleep in their weight loss journey do so significantly faster. Well, there you have it. I hope you really enjoy these tips and they support you in your weight loss journey. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.